we're still warm today, and it's not going to feel like December for most of the forecast period, but there are a few changes coming in that will make it feel a little bit more normal around here by the time we get to the end of the forecast period. Right now, just a few showers across the area, mostly to the southwest of the area, moving towards the Whitney and West areas there. As we look into Navarro County, there's a few light little specks there, maybe a few of those in Ellis County as well. Johnson County, this is all kind of ground clutter around the radar site there. Uh, might be a little bit of a shower there north of Alvarado, uh, but again, hard to tell when you get that close to the radar site. We did have that one shower in the Wilmer area just north of Ferris this morning. I don't see any heavier activity like that happening the rest of the day. The, the front that's around here, the stationary front that's mostly been kicking off some of this rain, going to be moving further north today. So I think that will take with it most of the focus of the precipitation, and it's going to be pretty much a quiet afternoon. Let's look at daytime highs right now. We're going to be in the mid-70s today. It's going to be warm as we have been the last few days, and as we get into the overnight lows, we're looking at 59, 60-degree range. Uh, pretty standard as far as what we have seen recently. Here's what we have in front of us today. Here's that stationary front that we've been watching, and here's the warm front that will actually help carry this a little further north today. Won't take it completely out of the area, but that will allow us to stay cloudy and muggy and humid and uh, keep the mid-70s around the area. But tomorrow, this will actually lift, uh, after it lifts, it will actually move southward a little bit tomorrow, bringing some north winds and some cooler temperatures. I say cooler temperatures, a little bit cooler. We'll top right around 70 tomorrow. And drier air. So we will see a little bit of sun light northeast winds, it'll be a little bit more pleasant than what we are seeing today and have seen the last few days. And going forward from there, I want to take a broader look here. Here's this front. This will eventually make its way. It looks like this is going to arrive sometime on Saturday. That will eventually make its way towards our area, push this stationary front out, and bring a chance of showers and thunderstorms on Saturday and bring kind of phase one of this cooling trend that we're going to see. It won't make us too much cooler. We'll top out right around 70 Saturday once the front moves through. Saturday night, we'll drop into the 50s for overnight lows. Sunday, we're right around the mid to upper 60s. And then we're warm again for Monday when things really start to change. So, But right now, we are watching this front that should arrive on Saturday and bring us some changes. Now, there's been a lot of talk about whether or not we're going to see a white Christmas. The Climate Prediction Center has come out with their outlook. Uh, I believe it's the, the two to four week outlook that includes Christmas. And so there's a lot of talk around the country of what to expect. And there's been YouTube creators that are making videos about what to expect and whether you're going to see a white Christmas or not. Here in Texas, we're always skeptical of this, right? Well, here's what the Climate Prediction Center is saying. For Texas, equal chances, okay? So no more chance, no less. It's pretty much what's standard expected for this area. So that's what you see in the white here. Now, temperatures do look lower than normal for most of the country, and it's possible we could see this sag southward a little bit or sag northward a little bit. This could change little bits here and there. This is a general idea, a general guess from them. But we know in order to get snow, we need both lower temperatures and precipitation and unfortunately the precipitation outlook for those of you who want a white Christmas does look like we have a below average probability of getting precipitation for the latter half of December. Let's keep it straight. Let's keep the forecast for the next seven days though. That's really the most reliable. Today that 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms uh, really showers. I, I don't think we're going to see any heavier activity today. Southwest wind at 10 to 15 miles per hour. It will be breezy, and we will be warm today on the south end of this stationary front. That lifts a little further north, uh, drops a little further south, uh, though, tomorrow. Uh, lifts today, drops tomorrow. This is why the forecast has been tough, because where you are in relation to the, uh, the stationary front here, and sometimes it's a matter of 30 miles or 50 miles of where it's going to be, it, it lifts north today. We're on the warm side. Tomorrow it more moves a little further south, so we'll get a northeast wind to 5 miles per hour. Pretty calm. A little more sun. Lower temperatures tomorrow. And then Saturday the front comes in and finally gets rid of this stationary front and kind of puts us in somewhat of a more normal pattern with you know the ups and downs that we have instead of a front just kind of sitting here. 
Saturday, the front uh, moves through a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms, and uh, we'll have better idea of timing on that over the next couple of days. Winds do shift back to the northwest. We'll top out around 70 degrees, but uh, I, the, the timing of the front could mean we have cooler temperatures on Saturday. We'll have to keep an eye on that. There are some indications that the front could stall a little bit on Sunday, but I don't think it's going to affect our forecast much. Light north winds, highs around the mid to upper 60s on Sunday. And then Monday, this is where things really start to get interesting. We could see our first really big chance of showers and thunderstorms. And there's talk of the possibility of some strong to severe storms included with this. We will get another stronger front, I should say, that will move through. And the thing is, though, that this is still a ways out. So talk about severe weather and those kind of things, those details. It's too early to really talk about that in too much uh, clarity. So don't put too much stock in the severe weather forecast that everybody on Facebook is posting. We'll have to wait and see. Time will tell. Those maps have already shifted quite a bit from the seven-day outlook to now the six to the five to six-day outlook. It, it keeps changing every day, and it's going to keep changing. So don't put a lot of stock in that. Just know that Monday, Tuesday, we will have a strong front coming through that could bring some showers and thunderstorms, and we will have to watch to see if those will be expected to be severe, as has been discussed. Wednesday, though, take a look at the high. We're in the mid-50s, so Wednesday will feel like December, and uh, it will feel much more normal. Lows Tuesday night will be in the 40s, so lows Wednesday night, Thursday night, getting into the latter half of next week could be right around the 30s, so it may be time to start trying to make sure that if we have sensitive plants, that, that maybe those are taken care of. We'll have to kind of be prepared for that. I don't have any detail on that yet. That's further out from the seven-day forecast that I go, but we are finally going to get some cooler temperatures in this area. So but right now, just remember, a light chance of rain today. Looks like that will probably evaporate for the most part in the afternoon. No pun intended. Tomorrow, the stationary front sags southward. We get a little more of a north wind there. The front moves in Saturday, brings a decent chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms. Cooler on Sunday. And then next Monday and Tuesday, that strong front brings in a chance of storms. Wednesday, much cooler, feeling a little bit more normal for December.